Hi kids, this is part two about Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sorry about that, had a little technical difficulty. So I'm gonna continue reading to you from where I left off. Even more frightening though were the teeth of the Tyrannosaurus. They were more than six inches long with very sharp edges. Some scientists think the Tyrannosaurus killed its prey by just running at it with its mouth open and those awful teeth sticking out. This would save time. When the two would collide, the Tyrannosaurus would already have its first mouthful. The Tyrannosaurus's big head also contained a fairly big brain, bigger than a human brain. But that didn't mean that the Tyrannosaurus was as smart as a person. Only a small part of the brain was for thinking. Most of the brain controlled how the Tyrannosaurus could see and smell. The better for tracking down its next meal. It would seem that this dinosaur did not have any problems at all. But it did, a very strange problem. Scientists think that if the Tyrannosaurus lay down, it had trouble getting back up. And this was a dinosaur who couldn't wait to get up in, for, in the morning for breakfast. The Tyrannosaurus's arms were much too small and weak to push itself up. In fact, scientists wondered for years why the Tyrannosaurus even had those little bitty arms. They weren't even long enough to reach the Tyrannosaurus's mouth. And then one scientist suggested what those arms might be used for. Each hand had two fingers with long claws. If the Tyrannosaurus dug those claws into the ground, they would help keep it from slipping, and then it could use its strong back legs to lift its body. We don't know if this is true or not, but it might be that those tiny arms were all that kept the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex from falling on its nose. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty interesting fact. I didn't know that before. Okay, today you get to make your very own Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth necklace. So in your bag you have these tooth shapes. Can you imagine? That's a big tooth. You also have a straw, which I want you to cut into small pieces about this size. And you have a piece of yarn. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna string together a piece of straw, a tooth, a piece of straw, a tooth. And you can decide if you want to do a pattern, like small tooth, big tooth, small tooth, big tooth, or however you want to make your necklace. And then someone can help you tie your necklace and you can actually wear it around your neck. And that's pretty cool. So have fun making your Tyrannosaurus tooth necklace. And I hope you enjoy learning all about the mighty T-Rex today. I'll see you again soon.